Hey guys, so I'm starting off today's video with no makeup on because I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash demo on the new L'Oreal Paris Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. I'm so excited to try out this foundation. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it. I was so tempted to try it out before doing this video, but I wanted this to be my very first impression, so this is the first time I'm going to be using it. I did use it on my hand though, and it was very, very smooth and soft. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's in a glass bottle. It's just like kind of an ombre from a white to the color of the foundation. I like the packaging. It looks really nice sitting on a vanity or like laid down in a box. It really fits in there nicely. It's nice and small and compact. But the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a pump, which most drugstore foundations don't, which is kind of a downside because it gets really, really messy. The price ranges between stores, but I got mine at Target for $11. Um, it says that it is bare skin perfecting makeup. It has SPF 18. There is 0.9 fluid ounces in this bottle. Um, it says transforms from liquid to powder for the perfect bare skin finish. So far, all I put on my face is the MAC Mineralized Charged Water Skin Hydrating Mist. This is just my moisturizer that I use in the summer because it's very light, and I don't like to use a regular moisturizer in the summer because my skin gets really, really oily. So I'm just going to get my annoying hair out of my face. And I'm going to sanitize my hands because with this foundation, you're supposed to use your fingers. It says it works best, so we don't want dirty hands. And I apologize if I'm a little weird in this video. Um, I ended up staying up all night because I couldn't fall asleep. And I'm like, well, I might as well just do some videos since I'm going to be up. I was planning on just doing the foundation. No primer, no concealer. I think I may do concealer just underneath my eyes because... Um, I do have pretty dark circles right now since I'm so tired, but I'm just going to not put concealer on the rest of my face um, to see how well it covers my breakouts and everything and my redness. So it says to shake well, so we're just gonna shake, 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 shake it. And it's very liquidy. I don't know if you can hear. Maybe if I stop talking, you could hear. But it's pretty much like water. It's very, very liquidy. It says for best makeup result, pour just a few drops onto your fingers. And apply directly onto skin. Not recommended for use with a sponge or brush. I'm just going to try it with my fingers. And if that doesn't work, then I will use a beauty blender or a brush or something. So I'm just going to attempt not to get this all over the floor. And just pour a little bit into my fingers. Okay, that's really messy. I'm just going to start applying this to one half of my face. Just so you could see kind of like half and half. It's really soft, but it's like immediately transforming into a powder. I really like the feel of this foundation. The coverage doesn't seem that great, but I don't think this foundation is supposed to be such a great coverage foundation. So that is one side of my face covered up. Um, I kind of see a difference. It definitely evened everything out. Got rid of some redness and some darkness underneath my eyes. Definitely not a full coverage um, foundation, which I usually like. Because if I wear foundation, I usually just like it to be full coverage because I don't wear foundation all that much. Um, but I'm just going to pour a little bit more. And I will say this is quite messy. And I'm just going to start on this side. I think it would be much easier to pour this onto the back of your hand. Don't know why I didn't do that. I think the color is a pretty good match. Um, I ended up getting... What did I get? 316 Nude Beige, which is what color I am in the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Um... I don't know if they run differently, but it seems to be a pretty good match. And the L'Oreal True Match Foundation is like my all-time favorite foundation now. I love that stuff. It has great coverage. I barely feel like I have anything on my face. Like it's very lightweight, but it does feel kind of wet. Um, I'm going to blend this down my neck a little bit. I was going to do two layers, but I think I'm just going to stick with one because I don't know, I just really don't feel like um, layering it on, but if you wanted to build it up, I would definitely go for it and put a little bit more on your cheeks and such, but I think I'm going to cover up my dark circles. I'm just going to be using my CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless Concealer 
And this one is in 220 medium dark. And I really like this stuff, actually. Like I said, I was going to stick to um, just the foundation, nothing else. But I do have pretty dark circles, and I don't think it'll really um, affect the review. I'll still be able to tell how long the foundation lasted. I'm just not going to cover up any face blemishes or any redness that I have. Just my under eye circles. So I'm not going to set that with a powder because it is a powder finish. So there's really no need. It's just going to look very cakey. Um, it feels kind of weird not setting my foundation, but I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So I am finished with my makeup. It is 11.43. I'm just going to go out and run some errands with my mom and go shopping and stuff like that. I will probably check in in the middle of the day um, when I get home or something and then right before I take my makeup off just to see how the foundation is holding up. But let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what my makeup looks like right now. I think it looks pretty good for the most part. It seems to be hiding my redness and um, some of my problem areas, but we will see how it holds up. So far, I'm liking the foundation, so I really hope that it works out. Hey guys, so I just got home. It is 4.17 p.m. So I've had this foundation on for like four or five hours, and I gotta say, it's not as good as it was earlier in the day um maybe if i would have put some primer or like a um setting spray on it would have lasted a lot longer but as you can see um some redness and that pimple is showing through now and i am a bit oily in my t-zone i usually like to set my foundation but since this was a powder finish i skipped the powder so maybe it would work a little bit better if i set it with a powder but for the sake of the review i'm not going to reapply anything i just want to see how well this foundation lasts but yeah, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so I'm back again for my final check-in. It is 8.38 right now. Not much has changed since the last um, check-in. I still have some oiliness like um, on my forehead, nose, chin, a little on my cheeks. It didn't do a great job of covering up much, but I couldn't really expect it to because it is like a low to medium coverage foundation. Overall, I really like this foundation, probably for the days when I'm having a better skin day. Um, today, obviously, I do have some um, breakouts, but if you were someone who was looking to cover up like acne scarring and stuff like that, I would not recommend this to you. I would recommend a more high coverage. Um, this is definitely a low to medium coverage, but you could definitely build it up but I think it would get really cakey. I would definitely suggest um, wearing a primer or some setting spray because it does not last very long without doing that. But I just wanted to see how the foundation lasted on itself. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like for about 8 hours of nothing but the foundation and a little bit of under eye concealer. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this a 7 or 8. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments if there are any other products you'd like me to do a first impression slash review slash demo on. I will see you guys soon. Bye!